In this video, we're going over a hip mobility sequence for hockey players. Welcome back to Relentless Hockey. My name is Kyle and today we're going to be going over a hip mobility sequence for hockey players. So hockey players are known for their chronically tight hips because we spend so much time in that flex hip position where we're always locking those hip flexors down. So in this video we're going to be going over a little bit of a sequence just to loosen up those hip flexors and trying to create more range in those hips. Alright, so for our first exercise, we're gonna use some sort of box or a couch or something where we can have that elevated leg. So we're gonna set up where our shin is parallel and then we're just gonna be driving that hip down into the ground. So in this exercise, we can do this either passive or active. So we're showing the active version here where we're driving our hip down as low as we can and forcing the movement for just one or two seconds and then letting go. We can also do this passive where we're holding this exercise for two minutes just to really release those hips. Our next exercise is the fire hydrant across. This, we actually have two different exercises. The first one, the fire hydrant, where we're lifting that leg as high as we can, as if we're a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. And then we have the cross, where we're trying to get as far back as we can to really get a stretch with that glute. The Cossack squat is designed to try and increase your hip abduction, or really get into that groin and hamstring that can be restricting a lot of players on the ice. Here, you're just sinking as far as you can into one hip while rotating open and trying to create some range in our hamstrings. The 90-90 exercise is one of our most important hip mobility exercises for hockey players. In the passive version, we're just falling into three different positions and then having a lift off at the end. Each one, we should feel a stretch to the back of our hips. Our active version, we're actually actively lifting off our leg and trying to create as much range as we can through the entire hip capsule. This exercise is called the squat hangout or the Slavic squat, where we're just trying to sink as low as we can into a squat and just hold it for as long as we can. Our ideal goal is to hold it for over two minutes so that we can really create a release through the calves, hips, and ankles. All right, so that's an awesome hip mobility sequence that we can use either after a practice or after a workout to really be increasing that range of motion. That's so important for hockey players, especially as the season progresses, where we tend to tighten up to be really focusing on increasing that range as much as we can. These aren't static stretches where we're just holding something and trying to release it. We're actually trying to get active to increase that range of motion, not just that flexibility. So if this episode brought you guys some value, please subscribe so you can get more of these videos nonstop.